Welcome everyone. Today I want to share with you my approach to crafting a stellar academic presentation. A presentation that's not only going to persuade your audience, but it's going to leave a lasting impression on them that's going to knock their socks off. I'm Professor David Stuckler. I've given over 50 keynotes at international conferences and hundreds of other presentations. I used to tremble with nervousness trying to speak clearly with confidence. Even doing this program today would have been a struggle for me. But by following these simple steps in the presentation, not only could I present with ease and confidence, but I could really craft an effective letter lecture that was going to give me results and get me invited again and again to, to conferences and keynotes. So to start, one thing that you need to know, when you present, you first have to open the gates for people to be able to hear what you have to say. And here I draw on Aristotle's model of persuasion. There are really three elements that you need for an effective talk. You need the logos, the ethos, and the pathos. Now, by each of these, what we mean, the logos, we mean more the intellectual side, the content of your talk, what you're trying to deliver. And so many people just start with that. But until people are ready, until you've opened their hearts and their minds, they, they're not going to be ready to listen to you. It's like planting the soil, right? If you just throw a seed on dry ground, it's not going to grow into a plant. You need to till the soil, you need to start preparing it so that seed can grab hold and grow. And that's exactly what you need to do. So before you get to that logos part of your talk, we need to do two things. We need to open them up emotionally with pathos. And then with ethos, we need to convince them that you're the right person to deliver this message. So what you need to do is really the following. The pathos, you need to reach them emotionally. You need to connect with them on a very human level. And that can be about why you're having this conversation now. Why is what you're about to talk about so important? And try to connect on an emotional level. Immediately after doing that, you need to connect with them with the ethos why you're the right person, why you're qualified, why do you have the profile to have this conversation with them about the topic you want to present to them. And only when you have hit both the pathos and the ethos are you in the right place to communicate the logos, which is really the scientific meat of the talk that you want to give. So let me run through the, this model very briefly and how I suggest starting your talk and making sure you hit all three of these major points to communicate your message effectively. So uh, when I was learning to present, at Oxford University, I remember being so nervous about a talk when uh, one of my close colleagues, actually was a professor who was a dear mentor to me, said, look, the way you need to think about a, a talk is like inviting somebody to your house. And when they come to your house, they don't know what's inside it, uh, where to go. Uh, without a guide, they'd feel completely lost. And so what you need to do when you come to the house is you need to take them by the hand, welcome them at the front door, and then lead them room by room through your house, uh, to the kitchen, through the living room, maybe show them the back garden, maybe take them upstairs, back down again, and lead them back out to the front door where they started. But now when they leave, they have the knowledge of what's in your house. So let me connect these two models. We have Aristotle's model uh, with the three central elements, and we have our model of the house. And so what I want you to think of at the very beginning of your talk, you have a step of connecting emotionally and building rapport with your audience. And that often what I love to do and has really worked in a formula for me is to tell a story. Um, humans respond well to stories, master narratives for long before the advent of, of computers and even writing. That is how information got passed on. So whatever your topic is, I encourage you to find a human face for the data that you're looking at or to find a story. It could be from the news, it could be a, about the development of a drug and, and its implications for the clinic, but a story that really captures what your talk is going to be about. That's really kind of presenting the front door. The next step is to start introducing the ethos. And just like when they're at the front, somebody comes to your front door, you're going to introduce who you are and tell them a little bit about the house. You need to do this to establish profile with them. You need to talk a little bit about yourself, maybe a little bit about your background and try to sprinkle elements of this ethos in your standing in your profile about why you're qualified to have this conversation. And once you've achieved these two things, you've opened them up emotionally and you you've convinced them that you're a, a, an appropriate person to tell them this information, now you can start taking them through the meat of your scientific talk. Now, with any talk, you do need to have an outline. 
right? If you're taking people around a tour of your house, you you would have a direction that you would go. You would know, okay, well, first, perhaps I'm gonna show them the living room, or maybe first I'm gonna show them the garden. But you need to structure it and to understand where you're gonna guide them and ideally progress through, through a sequence of points that's gonna build up to where you want to go. There are many different structures to scientific talks, depending on what you want to say, but most of them will at least start off around the entranceway. What, what are the big questions you're asking, the big conversation you're trying to have, the method you're gonna to use to go about answering those questions and some of the conclusions you found and what the next steps are for future research. So imagine each of those steps is like taking them to a different room of the house. One part of the house, you're gonna talk about the methods you used. The other part of the house, you're gonna talk about the results, the things that you found. And finally, when you get around full circle and they've seen everything in the house, you're gonna leave them back at the front door, but with a knowledge of what you did and where to go next in future research. One thing to bear in mind, I said that in trying to hit all these three points, the logos, the ethos, and the pathos, that you try to get the, the pathos and the ethos at the beginning, but it doesn't just stop there. Um, you may also want to pepper some anecdotes, anecdotes that could be about, that show your profile, or anecdotes that communicate, especially towards the end of the results and future research, again, why this is so important. An anecdote crafted very effectively at the very beginning of your talk, uh, you may want to go full circle, and when you leave them back at the front door, return to that anecdote. Return to that story of the human face that you had at the beginning of, of your talk, or a story that told about your profile, or the story of the research, something that's gonna grip them, engage them, and it, the best talks will engage emotionally at the beginning and leave emotionally uh, again at the end. Guys, I don't know if you've tried to hit all these points, but so many students I know just progress with the logos, and you've, been, you've seen it yourself, a very boring talk, you start clicking around on your phone, not paying attention. If you can master these elements, you are going to have tremendous results and it's going to transform your presentation skills to present like a, 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 not just a regular professor, but a world leading professor at the top of your field. It's gonna help you win research funding. It's gonna help you get more attention and get invited again and again to be a highly requested speaker on the international circuit. Thanks everyone. Again, I'm Professor David Stuckler from Fast Track Grad. If you want more advice like this, free support, I'm a strong believer in open access, do join my Facebook group, Fast Track Grad. If you're struggling to present, if you're feeling nervous, get in touch with me and let's set up a one-to-one -one call, even just a short 15 minutes to get you on the right track. The link and details are gonna be posted below uh, this video and I hope to hear from all of you. Let us know how you're doing, uh, marrying these two models, the house model and Aristotle's persuasion model uh, and the results you're getting in your presentations. See you